Hey everybody, this is Randy Karcher, the Musical Health Coach. Thanks for joining me for Fortissimo Friday. And uh, I was uh, listening to a YouTube story of Steve Harvey this morning. I've always been a real admirer of him. I always like his comedy and uh, I really enjoyed finding out more about his history. Very interesting, he had a stuttering problem as a young kid. Really had issues and it made it really difficult for him in school. Um, at one particular point, um, the teacher asked all the kids to write a story about what they wanted to do when they grow up. And um, the teacher actually, after they t all the kids turned theirs in, the teacher asked him to come up to the front of the classroom. And he was all excited because he thought that he was going to get a gold star. But instead, the teacher, not a great teacher, ridiculed him in front of the whole class and made fun of him and asked him questions like, so who in your family has been on TV? Because this, what his goal was is to be able to be on TV. Who in your family has been on TV? So what makes you think you can be on TV? You will never be on TV. Stuff like that. Can you imagine that to a young kid? So he had that to deal with. He went through the rest of his life and he kept working towards that goal. And we all know how that turned out. He got to be... Uh, quite a legendary comedian and he had his own TV show which is amazing. Anyway, I really enjoyed that, uh, listening to that and you know so many of us have goals and things that we want to work towards. This is the perfect time of year to think about goals. But here's what the sad truth is, um, is that about 80% of people who make you know New Year's goals by about the second week of February they're not doing it anymore. They've sort of given up. So what are some strategies on how to make a goal uh, for this new year and be able to stick with it? Here's some suggestions that I found that I'll share with you. There's five of them. Make your goal extremely specific. Don't do something that, don't say something to yourself about a goal that's just um, a general thing like, you know, getting in better shape. Okay, that's a great goal, but that's too general. Maybe something more like, I want to lose 10 pounds in 30 days. Or, uh, you know, another goal might be that some people say, I want to grow my business. How about instead of just a general goal like that, how about something like, I want to add five new clients to my business in the next month. Anyway, make it more specific. It, it makes it a lot easier to attain. Number two, make your goal personally meaningful. Okay. Um, I've, and as a health coach, I hear this sometimes from people, I want to be able to go to the beach with my swimming suit on and not be embarrassed. Um, and so, okay, that's a great goal, but that, that's kind of more like caring what other people think. And if you can make it more, you know, more meaningful to you, like, I want to set a better example to my kids. I want to feel better about myself. That's something that's more meaningful than worrying about what everybody else thinks. Here's a third one. Uh, make your goal really positive. Like, I want to stop smoking. Okay, that's good. That's, that's a great goal. But the word stop is kind of a negative thing, so maybe make it, put a positive spin on that. I want to be able to hike with my kids and my grandkids and not have to stop and cough. I, you know, whatever that is. Or I want to be able to set a good example for my kids, whatever that is. Make it positive. Put a positive spin on that. It's going to make it a lot better for you. Uh, number four, set your goal and then forget your goal. That's an interesting one, huh? Set your goal, like you, say you want to run a marathon. That's an awesome goal. Um, but instead of concentrating on that one, it can get very discouraging because there's a lot of stuff that you might need to do in between from where you are to be able to get to that. So maybe set a goal of running a, a mile and then add another mile. See, just small little increments along the way where you still have the big goal in mind, but you're keeping in mind the little goals as well. And lastly, focus on the process. There's a lot of joy that comes in the process of reaching your goal. And again, if you can set small little goals that you can easily attain uh, along the way and work towards those, like maybe, maybe even daily goals, this is what I'm going to accomplish today. And even if you don't hit all those goals, you're going to be in a better place because you did some of those. So anyway, I hope that's brought some value to you. Um, it's the holiday season, and I wanted to share one of my favorite holiday songs. Um, it's not often performed. It's kind of hauntingly beautiful. Um, it's one of those where you have to kind of think about what it's saying a little bit, but the melody is so great. I just wanted to share it with you. And I have a piano vocal score that I did for a 
vocalist, so let's see if I can kind of adapt that with some melody for you. It's called I Wonder As I Wander. I wonder. I've always loved that one. As we go into the new year, decide what you want to do, create a plan, and go after it. Don't wait until January 1st or 2nd. Make the plan now. Be prepared so that you can start on January 1st or January 2nd if that's what you choose to do. It's been Randy Karcher, the musical health coach. Thanks for joining me for Fortissimo Friday and make it a great day, make it a great weekend, and a great holiday season. It's always up to you.